Fleet TV Plus. This is Morning News. We have headlines. Tinubu launches conditional cash transfer for 15 million households. BBC reviews no evidence shows Tinubu forged certificate. Lagos FA chairman suspended over gross misconduct. Drama as Mbume walks out in a Fabio during Senate meeting. Now the news. Nigeria's president, Bolamed Tunubu, on Tuesday launched a renewed hope conditional cash transfer for 15 million households. Recall that the president had in his maiden Independence Day broadcast to Nigerians on October 1, 2023, announced the cash transfer program which he said would target vulnerable citizens. The 15 million households, according to the Humanitarian Affairs Minister, represent 62 million Nigerians. She said that the sum of 25,000 naira will be transferred to the beneficiaries on a monthly basis for three months, which amounts to 75,000 naira for each of the beneficiaries. The minister also disclosed that in no distant time, another scheme would be launched, codenamed Yaloja Funds, which would provide soft loans of 50,000 naira to support petty traders. In addition, at the beginning of the next farming season, she said that farmers will be provided with incentives to boost their farm yields. Meanwhile, the British Broadcasting Corporation BBC has reacted to the criticism and backlash that followed his report, which debunked claims that the certificate obtained by President Bola Tinubu from the Chicago State University, CSU, is forged. Recall that the BBC had last week disclosed that there is no evidence that the President Tinubu forged his Chicago State University certificate. The BBC in a report tied to Bola Tinubu diploma, no evidence Nigeria's president forged college record, revealed that their findings vindicate the Nigerian president of certificate forgery as alleged. However, the report had been trailed by condemnation from certain quarters, including the camp of the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar. The Atiku camp went ahead to lodge a formal complaint with the BBC management about the article. But following the backlash, the BBC in a letter signed by its complaints team and addressed to its audience member at the weekend said it is regrettable that some persons were unhappy with their findings. The news organization, however, stated that it is standing by the reports because it believes the article is the truth, adding that the CSU also confirmed the authenticity of the certificate before they went public with the story. In other news, the Executive Board of Lagos State Football Association on Tuesday afternoon, during a board meeting at the Secretariat in Surulere, Lagos, suspended its chairman, Honorable Fuad Oki. During the board meeting of the FA, which was ostensibly to deliberate upon the several acts of misconduct and high-handedness against the chairman, it voted 5-4 in favor of suspending the chairman. Grounds for suspension of Fuad Oki include not attending the NFF Congress with no excuse and without the knowledge of the LS. FA board, change of the association logo without approval of the board and the Congress, denying the Nigerian Professional League NPFL A1 camera delegates access to test run the A1 camera prior to the commencement of the league, total disregard to NFF instructions on NPFL rules and regulations regarding branding and streaming of matches by the affiliates Sporting Lagos FC, release of 2023-2024 NNL season match day logistics to NNL clubs without the knowledge of the board. Lodger heads with Lagos State Sports Commission on the use of facilities and spoiling an eater to amiable relationship, delaying and stopping several youth tournaments, recreational football, and threatening teams to move out of Lagos, initiating independence of LSFA outside of the authority of NFF. It was reported that after the voting for a suspension, the embattled suspended FA boss physically attacked and slapped his vice chairman, R.G. Jaffa Lamid, in the presence of security officers, including the DSS. It's over. It's over, sir. We can't take this anymore. You slap me, chairman, you slap me, you slap me and punch me in my throat. You slap me and punch me in my throat. I will take anything for football. I'm taking this again for football. This is our destiny. This is our life. The oppression is over. The oppression is over, sir. It is over, sir. You are so, the board has suspended you. You never must be. The oppression is over. The oppression is over. The oppression is over. The oppression is over. Hey, 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 do you see that? The oppression is over. Yeah, hey, come inside television. Everybody come inside. The oppression is over. 
Finally, on the news, Nigeria's Senate President Goswil Akpabio and the Chief Whip of the 10th Senate Senator Ali Ndume were engaged in a shouting match and heated exchange of words on Tuesday. It was learned that the shouting row between the two Senate leaders was over the conduct of Senator Akpabio, which does not sit well with some of his colleagues. The specific conduct of Mr. Akpabio that led to the shouting match between the two principal officers of the Senate could not be established. Thanks for joining our news broadcast. Subscribe on our channel for latest updates. Hope you may be reporting.